so we need to go up to other several other key problems which uh, uh, are probably uh, in existence. And those are roughly in order of importance, involuntary movement of your head and neck, and that of course destroys the uh, eye hand coordination. Uh, the need to hold your head with your hands, in effect, uh, you become one-handed at that point, and there are very few, if any, jobs in the national economy which somebody can do without using both their hands. Uh, <clears throat> uh, difficulty grasping and holding on to objects, uh, objects, ataxia. Ataxia is a discoordination of muscles. They, they, in effect, they fight against each other rather than work in, in concert. Chronic pain, muscle stiffness with spasms, difficulty keeping your balance with your walk, muscle weakness, fatigue with per progression of the day, lack of manual dexterity, depression, and difficulty thinking and concentrating. Anything that disturbs your ability to think and concentrate is critically important. Preoccupation with your involuntary movements, pain, medications which may be, make you drowsy, dopey, or, or dull your awareness of yourself and your surroundings are all critical to productive work. The need to take unskilled rest breaks during the workday almost certainly uh, renders you unable to do any work in the national economy. And I need to inject here that the SSA doesn't give a rat's butt about what you have to say about your condition. They rely solely on the, the reports that they have from uh, medical doctors. <clears throat> and, and, don't, uh, and don't ever let uh, the medical doctors that, that Social Security hires uh, be the end all and, and, uh, and be all of your evaluation. You need your own neurologist uh, who's willing to go, go to bat for you. <coughs> but the hardest part of the process is the time it takes to get through it. It takes five months to get an answer after you reply, three or four months to get an answer after your initial appeal, and 18 months to two years to get a hearing after you've asked for one. So you could conceivably wait three years before you get your benefits. And for those who live alone, <clears throat> that wait can be excruciatingly painful. And I have, for the last uh, four or five years, I've been able to knock about six months uh, off of that time timetable. Uh, and uh, I do it without, without my clients having to do it over here. Um, I've been able to do that in 75 percent of my cases. Um, over the past 20 years, in well over 1,000 cases, 80 of them have been ST patients. I've won all 80. My favorite ST here is a veteran living in a trailer getting VA disability who had lost his SSA case with another representative. It took me 15 minutes a year to double his income. It may come as some surprise here that taken as a whole, Social Security's rules actually favored the disabled. And for the time being, the rule of law still exists in SSA, which means that one individual armed with that knowledge can challenge a small billion dollar agency and win time and time again. But beware, the bigger the government, the smaller the individual. Social Security disability is obscene. With taxation, you are forced to pay in the system, and then when you need it most, those who are being paid with your money deny you over and over again. SSA's stated purpose is to save from destitution those who are unable to work. But with its bureaucratic stumbling blocks and unreasonably long delays, the agency actually makes destitution more likely. And my purpose, of course, is to get your money back. Social Security is the biggest pyramid scheme ever. It's dependent upon an ever increasing number of, of people uh, paying into the system. 
In my book in 1994, I predicted Social Security would be bankrupt around 2020 because 76 million baby boomers would be retired during the 10 years before that. And one attorney cautioned me, you shouldn't be saying that, you'll scare people. Well, it turns out not enough people were very scared. Congress's own economists predicted that Social Security would, would start paying out more money than there were, were workers paying in in 2040. With this recession, Social Security just started, just started paying out more than it's bringing in. And both Medicare and Medicaid are bankrupt. Who's going to pay the bill? Your children and your grandchildren. There is a better way. It does not have to be invented. Chile switched from a tax social security system in 1980 with, with one which is private, similar to I, our, our IRAs. Those who entered the new system then, up to then are retiring as millionaires. In this country, medical savings accounts would provide protection against catastrophic illness. And I want to end on a lighter note. Um, with part of his back benefits, Tom Smith, and I swear that is the right name, made a contribution to NS NSTA in my name. He didn't tell me he'd done that. It was NSTA that notified me. I had to read it several times before I registered. Then I called Tom and I told him I had to pitch myself several times to make sure I was alive because usually such conditions are made in the name of a dead person. <laughs> Questions? Comments? Yes? Um, this is a general question. You're out of Georgia now. And when applying for Social Security benefits, do you have to be, is it a state-based thing or is this, can you represent anyone in the uh, country, this is a federal uh, federal case. I'm sorry, for uh, I see you're from uh, Georgia. Now, when you're representing people, do they have to be in Georgia or in a state you're licensed, or is it a federal, since it's a federal matter, are you no. countrywide? <clears throat> no, I handle everything by mail and phone, and, and if uh, there is a hearing, then I will I'll be there at the hearing. Where it, I have, I have, uh, I had, I had a client in Alaska, not ST. Um, I didn't, I didn't have to go to here. <laughs> it was February. It was, uh, I didn't want to go to Alaska. I didn't want to go to Alaska in February. Uh, uh, so I, uh, I was able to get the, the uh, him benefits without having to go to here. But uh, and I have, I right now I have clients in California as well. So it doesn't matter. Thank you. Question here? Yes. Are there any type of temporary options to, to sustain yourself for the two years while you're waiting for a, a you know, the best, approval? It's one of the most difficult questions to answer. One of the best, the best thing I know of is this horrible with this, uh, your state assistance. Um, And, uh, and uh, you know, food stamps. Food stamps, the city says, uh, you know, that's the best that I know of. If, you're, if you don't have family or friends. Do you actually have to be unemployed for that whole duration, or can you work part time? Or You can work part time. Social Security defines work as the ability to work eight hours a day, five days a week, 15 weeks a year. Um, Part-time work, 40, uh, 20 hours a week, does not fall in that category. However, 20 hours between, uh, 20 hours to 40 hours a week is a gray area that I, you know, I advise no one to go into. You, you're, you're just, you're jeopardizing your claim if you do that. Uh, yes? I have business cards, but your lead behind there is at my name and address as well. Oh, that's what I, I didn't look. I'm sorry, I didn't even look. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. I, I could be a card too. Yeah. 